So, it looks like a Andrew Benatendi trade could happen very soon. One executive even said he would be shocked if Benatendi is not traded by the end of the weekend. Wow. Andrew Benatendi might be traded very, very soon. We need the hot stuff to start heating up. But before we get into this, we're talking about Andrew Benatendi and possibly where he will be traded. And why in the world would the Red Sox trade him? Like, why? Before we get into this video, though, 68% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed. Get your life together. Hit that subscribe button, turn notifications, leave a like on this video. Subscribe, turn notifications, leave a like on this video. And let's go ahead and get into this video. There have been a few teams rumored to potentially trade for Benatendi, and those teams are the Marlins, Rangers, A's, Astros, and Philadelphia Phillies. So, yeah, that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Now, I want to give my opinions on this potential trade from the Red Sox perspective. From a Red Sox perspective, I think it makes no sense. Ben Attendee's value is at an all-time low right now. And I think if you are going to trade him, then trade him at the 2021 MLB trade deadline. He hit below 100 in 2020. He had a terrible season. Actually, he hit just above 100 at 103. Sorry for giving you a little discredit, Andrew Ben Attendee. But we have seen that Ben Attendee has all-star potential. He was the seventh overall pick in the 2015 draft out of the University of Arkansas. He had some injury problems in the past and in 2020, which may have been the reason why he was so bad in 2020. You can always take that into account. He won Red Sox Rookie of the Year in 2017. Any team that needs outfield help should try to get Ben Attendee right now. His value is at an all-time low, and I think this and I think this will be a trade the Red Sox regret if they do not do it later on. I mean, do it. This could be the steal of the offseason. I really do think this has possibility to be the steal of the offseason. And now let's go ahead and talk about some under-the-radar teams that might trade for Ben Attendee. Now there are some teams that should trade for Ben Attendee, but, will most, but it will most likely not happen, including the Chicago Cubs, Cleveland baseball team, Braves. Now let's, get, now let's give some reasons why they should trade for Ben Attendee. And yeah. That, let's go ahead and get into it. First, let's start with the Chicago Cubs. I think this that this trade would look like Kyle Hendricks to the Boston Red Sox for Andrew Benatini and Jason Rosario, the Red Sox number 16 prospect in the outfield. With this trade, the Red Sox get an ace-type pitcher with Kyle Hendricks, giving away one of their outfielders, but they have a ton of outfielders right now. The Cubs get back two young outfielders, Benatini will be a great all-star type outfielder for this team, and this trade is not much of a downgrade. It is just a downgrade for their starting pitching, which they are not too concerned about already, or they wouldn't have traded you Darvish for pennies. Jason Rosario is a prospect with some potential. He will be up in the major leagues around 2022 or 2023, which is when the Chicago Cubs should be at their best, if we're being honest, considering all their plays will be coming up from the U Darvish trade. Next team is the Cleveland baseball team. I'm going to keep this one short. They could trade for a bit of Tenny, but most likely will not. Their biggest asset, in my opinion, to trade to the Red Sox would have been Carlos Carrasco, and they traded him to the Mets in the Francisco Lindor trade. It most likely will not happen, but it should happen. Cleveland baseball team needs to trade for him immediately. Next team is the Atlanta Braves. They definitely could just re-sign Ozuna, but Ben Attendee should be another way cheaper option, and I have a different plan for the Braves. They trade for Ben Attendee, and then their big free agent signing this offseason is signing DJ LeMahieu. This would be super interesting. The Braves have a very good farm system and good young arms to give to the Red Sox in this trade, and maybe a and maybe a outfielder, um, exactly a pitcher and an outfielder, exactly what the Red Sox are looking for. And the Braves are looking for a left fielder. But it has been rumored that Austin Riley will be starting at third base for the Atlanta Braves in 2021. Here's my proposed trade. Ben Attendee to the Braves for Jesse Franklin, an outfielder of the Braves' number 29 prospect. He was just recently drafted in the third round of the 2020 draft. Sean Newcomb, a left-handed pitcher who has a ton of potential out of the bullpen or starting. And you have Kyle Muller, the Braves' number six prospect. So I think this is a very good trade for both sides. I think that the Red Sox could do it. Now, I do think that the that, that potential Cubs trade would be a very, very good trade for both sides. But who knows if that will happen. If the Cubs are in on trying to trade for Ben Attendee, then they should give up Kyle Hendricks for Ben Attendee, the way their team's going. Now let's get into the rumored favorites as of right now. First team is the Miami Marlins. Marlins had a surprise season in 2020, surprising everyone in 2020, and their team showed a lot of promise for the future. 
they're they are in a very tough National League East right now, and everyone in the National League East is making moves, and they have not made really any moves. Here's my proposed trade: Ben Attendee to the Marlins for Kyle Nicholas, a right-handed pitcher. He was just drafted in 2020 and is ranked number 21 in the Miami Marlins farm system. Connor Scott, an outfielder, he is ranked number 15 in the Marlins farm system. Probably will be up in 2022 or so. And Braxton Garrett, the number seven prospect in the Marlins farm system. He was not very good in his two games in 2020. But you can't really take much into account in 2020 at all, and especially two games. Now let's talk about the Texas Rangers. Next team is the Texas Rangers. The Rangers were the second worst team in the league in 2020, and the Rangers look to finally be going in the right direction, acquiring Dane Dunning from the Chicago White Sox for Lance Lynn and have the second overall pick along with Nick Solak and Sam Huff that are already up in the major leagues, which are some of their top prospects, and Josh Jung, obviously, um, and many other young players. The Rangers do just happen to have a lot of outfitters and pitchers in their in the top of their farm system. Here's my proposed trade. Ben Attendee to the Rangers for Hans Krauss, their number seven prospect for the Rangers, a hard-throwing right-handed pitcher who has only played as high as single A. I see Krauss being more of a relief pitcher than a starting pitcher. He has closer type stuff. And I really think he's just a closer at best. He's really a closer. And he throws like 100 miles per hour. Bayron Laura, the Rangers number 14 prospect who will not be up for a while. He is expected. ETA in 2024. He has not played much in the minor leagues yet. Laura has a ton of potential, but it's far away. Another option here for the Rangers to give up would be Bubba Thompson or Steel Walker, who they got back for No More Mazar, which ended up, I guess, being a win for them because No More Mazar was terrible. Next team's Oakland Athletics. They've had a very good 2020 season, winning the American League West, and will lose a lot of those main pieces in free agency from what it looks like. Minutini would be a very good fit for this Athletics team. Here's my proposed trade. Ben Attendee for the A's for Greg Deachman, the Athletics' number 14 prospect and outfitter. He should be up very soon, as soon as 2021, actually. Don Jeffries is a right-handed pitcher who is the Athletics' number 7 prospect and was terrible in one game in 2020. But once again, it's one game in a 2020. Next team is the Houston Astros. The Astros had a very good 2020 season, making a run all the way to the 2020 American League Championship Series. They most likely will lose Michael Brantley and George Springer this offseason, so obviously they can use a left fielder, and they will start to build back their outfield to have a very good outfield with Alvarez, Tucker, and Ben Attendee if they are able to get a trade done. Here's my proposed trade. Ben Attendee to the Houston Astros for Colin Bar Baber, outfielder. Baber is far away from making an impact to the actual major league team, and Brian Abreu, pitcher, number three prospect for the Astros, who is very close to MLB ready, if not MLB ready now. Final team is the Philadelphia Phillies. The NL East has been making moves this offseason. Or the NL East has been making moves this offseason. In the 2018 offseason, the Phillies signed Bryce Harper and have been quite disappointing for the last two seasons. They finished in third place in 2020, along with fourth place in 2019. Here's my proposed trade. Bit of titty to the Phillies for Mickey Moniak, the first overall pick in the 2016 and will be drafted. It's already been rumored that he will be in this trade if the Phillies trade for Bit of titty. And in well... De Los Santos, I think, will be included in this trade, a young pitching prospect who could make an impact as early as 2021. Both of these players are major league ready now. So this is a trade that could get you major league pieces right now back, and that's what they should be looking for in a trade because all of these other trades really are looking towards the future for this team. I mean, the Miami Marlins trade is not bad for right now, but you figure that most of these trades are looking towards the future. Now, going off these proposed trades, this is very interesting because I think there's some good proposed trades here. I think the Rangers have to be the Rangers, Astros, or Phillies. I think it's really the range. I think it's the Astros or the the Rangers here. Mickey Moniak's been kind of disappointing in his career so far. If the Red Sox really think Mickey Moniak's the the a real good player, then maybe. This could happen, but Mickey Moniak's a possibility. I think it's between the Phillies, Rangers, and the Astros here. I think that the Red Sox probably go and trade Ben Attendee to Houston here. I really do think this happens. Brian Abreu seems like he's got a ton of potential. I could see the Phillies trade getting done. It's either one of those, I think. Rangers could happen. I, I don't know. I mean... It definitely could happen. Either of those three trades could happen. And, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. 
Um, before before I end this video, 68% of you that watch these videos that aren't subscribed, get your life together, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, leave a like on this video. Yeah, Andrew Benatitti looks to be traded very soon. And like I said, a executive said they would be shocked if Benatitti was not traded very, very soon, even by the end of this weekend. And I'm currently filming this on Thursday, so maybe we see a trade soon. Hopefully so. Hopefully the hot stuff starts hitting up because it's slow right now. Get some MLB news. Please sign Trevor Bauer, sign DJ Mayhew, sign JT Romito. Please sign. Thank you for watching and peace.